quien seguramente tenía una lesión en la rodilla, seguro, pero no era una, una, una cirugía que debería hacerlo ya, era minúsculo, no, minúsculo es muy sencillo, es fácil. Yo creo que ha sido la estrategia de Caín Velázquez, porque sabía que yo tenía muchas ganas de ganarle y yo le iba a ganar, como le gané a Mark Hunt. Nadie me quitó las ganas, tengo más ganas todavía de hacer esa pelea porque yo quiero ser campeón y solo puede haber uno, y este uno soy yo. Caín Velázquez, hace dos años que no pelea ya, dos años, es mucho. Vino hace poco tiempo que está en México, yo creo que va a sentir mucho la actitud. Él va a intentar noquearme ya al principio, ya, boom, boom, intentar noquearme, pero yo estoy muy preparado aquí mentalmente y, y el cuerpo me voy a aguantar mucho, aguanto muchos golpes. Después voy a decir, ahora me toca a mí, una vez cada uno. Tú primero y después yo. Entonces a ver qué aguanta más. Esa pelea va a ser buena. La pelea de Mayweather contra Pacquiao, todos estamos diciendo que iba a ser la pelea del año, del, del ciclo. Pero no es verdad, la pelea del ciclo viene el 13 de junio ahora, esa pelea es del ciclo. Y ya como te dije antes, estoy sin prepotencia, pues estoy muy confiado que le voy a ganar. Muy bien. todos. Ah, Hasta Dana, Cristale. Sí, sí o no. Ok, Lorenzo también. <risa> mira, mira. Mira la salida. Uy. Opa. Hey. Estaba muy bien preparado, muy bien, pero sí, no sé si como pum, pero no, así como, ah, estoy mareado, pues no, no. Pero el impacto, ¿no? Sí, sí, el impacto sí, como tú. Oh. Kevin, mira, una entrada, mira la entrada, mira los ojos, mira los ojos. Mira los ojos ahora, mira, opa. Y ahora la segunda, ahora la ahora, ahora, ahora es un nocaut. Opa! Pensó que ibas por los Sí, otra vez. Pensaba que iba otra vez. We train here today. We San Luis. Uh, got us hooked up with this gym. So I wouldn't come in here, get a light, probably mid, mid workout in, and then um, that's it. Like the first one would be kind of light, light. And then we'll do like two good ones of hands and then two, two good ones of kicking. And then we'll do one with the kick on the hand. Okay. Our last day of hard training, that was a pad day. And so we went with a good friend of ours named Jose Luis, who's the director of police over here. Uh, he escorted us over there to a friend's gym. Good. And then duck, left hook, then right, left, right. So four punches. Right when I throw here, right, left, right. Again. There you go. It was perfect for what we needed. Uh, you know, I worked him out really hard and he looked fantastic. Welcome to my humble boat. It's been my 11 quarters for the past two and a half months. To get ready to fight Gil Melendez in Mexico. Came out here to be in solitude, to be able to focus and get ready for what I feel is going to be my best performance to date. My wife's back home with my four kids. I cannot wait to get back home to see them. I hate this. I hate being away from home, but I understand with a great sacrifice comes great reward. The house here is about a four minute bike ride to the gym. I am. Training twice a day, busting my ass, getting ready to do something spectacular. It's peaceful. Sure. Sometimes me and one of my roommates come here at like five in the morning. I just come out here and just sort of try to be in the moment, relax. This is where people come to vacation. This ain't no place to live. Philadelphia is a place to live. When I was young, got in a lot of fights. But the city of Philadelphia is crazy about fighting. They love fighting. They support their fighters to the end. Win or lose, they always show up and they're always supportive. Keep them busy with them hands. Your hands are too good for him. Yeah, your hands are too good for him. You're gonna see the kicks coming. 
Fighting for me is like a quest to find out who I am so I can be better. It's a quest to be better than what I was yesterday. The streets of Philly have a lot to do with that. A whole lot to do with that. Gilbert, you're in trouble. Big trouble. I get my hands on you. I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy that it's it's fight time, you know? And I feel like I'm prepared. I feel prepared and with preparation comes confidence. That's what I learned in my last fight, you know, and that's like my new quote. You know, and I, I like the matchup, I yeah, like that it's up, finally boys? happening. And um, right, you know, right. I think the, everyone's You're excited good. about it. It's in Mexico City. Right, just feels like the stars are aligned right for this fight, you know? What's up, What's up bro? My name's Don P, man. What's I'm that? a rap artist. Oh, no Open, kidding. Bro. I'm the Don, and that's LL Nino. And he'll slap you in your face and let you lie on the floor. Knock you out in the first round. You know what's going down. Where I'm from? Oak Town. Yada da! <laughs> it's like one of those fights, like, I know I can win this fight. And I know I will win this fight, but I just know it's going to be a hard fight. This is a guy, you know, I've been wanting to fight for a while. He wants to fight me, and it's like it's finally happening. Well, this guy's a banger. He's a fighter. Like, this is cool. Like, I think we could, people would get a kick out of it. I like to test myself against this guy. There's not many better warriors than Eddie and I. We're warriors. We like to fight. We like to bang it out. How's that? It's pretty nice. Yeah, a little combined weather. Huh? Good. I think uh, this particular fight in Mexico City is, um, well, it's a dream come true for the family. You know, we always, you know, talked about it and he's very excited to uh, perform for the people of Mexico and just to uh, demonstrate the, the, the warrior spirit of our countrymen. I'm going to enjoy every single second I'm out there is what I'm going to do. You know, there's two types of Mexicans out there. Those who love MMA and those who don't know they love MMA is how I see it, you know? And um, once they're exposed to it, they're gonna fall in love with it. When have you had a heavyweight champion in boxing that was Mexican? That never really happened. The toughest man in the world was never Mexican till now. Cain Velasquez is the toughest dude in the world and he's Mexican, you know? Not the toughest boxer, not the toughest wrestler. This guy is the toughest man in the world. I know he's the headliner right there, but I'm gonna steal the show.